Hi guys and welcome to my third share tech video. I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who watches these because I know they can be quite long but they also do take me a long time to make so I really do appreciate you watching them. Thanks to my subscribers, thanks to everybody who watched my videos. I've got the help of my assistant Jess again this week if she can wake herself up. I've told her there are subscribers won't be pleased if she doesn't take part so hopefully she'll get her act together soon. I've got three artists for you this week. Uh, two that you're probably pretty familiar with and one that might be quite new to you so um, yeah I'd just like to uh, say that at the end of the video like with my last shout out I did a quite a special one with Meg uh, this week I'm going to do another special one where I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit about me mental illness um, but I'll get to that at the end of the video so without further ado Jessie's ready now I think so our first, art, first artist is Emma Butcher Art. Now Emma is an Australian and she's quite diverse in her artwork. I think she does photography and journal stuff as well. She uses coloured pencils, ink, watercolour. She does tutorial, video, tutorial videos on the processes of her work. And she does fun videos like drawing blindfolded and stuff. Uh, this is a piece that she did, A Nightmare Before Christmas, for the Inktober thing on Instagram. And I really like how defined this is. I like the colours. I like the way it stands out. It's very bright. I like the design. And it's, uh, yeah, that's, it's really well done. This, I think, was a birthday present for her father. And it's done in uh, gouache, or gouache, however you want to say it. And I really like the way that's designed and set out. I like the colours. And it's a really thoughtful gift. Uh, Emma's a really, really nice girl. She comes across really well in her videos. Uh, a lot better than me. <laughs> And uh, I think she's got a good future on YouTube, so please go and support her. This was another present for her brother's birthday, a picture she, she drew digitally and then printed up for him. And this next one is on Instagram. It's uh, got happy early birthday Alaska, so I'll take it to another gift. It's a unicorn in watercolour. Again, really well done. And this was a logo she did for a drive school. So, yeah, like I said, a girl of many talents. Uh, she does a lot of different stuff. And she comes across really well in a video, so please check her out. Uh, this is another watercolour design that she did for Easter. And again, I like the design. I like the way she set it out. It's really well thought out. And this is another gift, which was for a stepdad, which is R2-D2, as you can see. But again, a different kind of uh, design, the way she's done it. But it works, and I really like that. This one is Bunny Graveyard Girl. It's a piece of watercolour fan art. Now, it's not that easy to get uh, defined colours with watercolour and I really like how deep the yellow is and again it's really set out well, the, the black lines are really well defined and it's another great piece of artwork, I really like that. This one was a, yet another gift for Mother's Day and it's called Mermaid and it's based I do believe on her mother's star sign and her mother's favourite instrument and I really like the way this pops out, uh, the colours are really well done and it's really well designed and it's another thoughtful gift this next one is another gift believe it or not for valentine's day uh, for somebody called mike i don't know whether that's her boyfriend or partner or husband or whatever so sorry about that emma but yeah again a really nice idea really thoughtful this one i absolutely love because i'm a fan of tank girl anyway and i just love the colors on this one it's like a piece of pop art and it's got attitude i just love that it's so well defined again and this last one is a little doggy called tyson which was a watercolor painting and a gift for her friend's birthday I do believe so I love the way she does these gifts for everyone it's so thoughtful and they really are cool so yeah please get over and support Emma I'm sure she'd love to see you just drop her a comment drop her a subscription and that was Emma Butcher this next artist is Miss Art Garden I do believe she's American I think her real name's Desiree I'm not sure about that so sorry if I'm wrong but we'll call her Miss Art Garden because that's how I know her she's a digital artist and I thought with these first few pictures, I'd put the process of how she does it. Because a lot of people frown upon digital art and say, oh, it's not real artwork, it's not real drawing. But I disagree with that. It's a skill in itself, and it's really hard to do. She actually does draw the drawings herself, whether it be on screen or whether it be on a digital pad. But, you know, you can see the process of how she does it right from the beginning, like with this next one, Han Solo. You can see, you know, you can see the actual the base drawing, you know, how she builds the face up, how she starts to get the details in, she defines it, she removes the lines from the background. 
and then she'll start to fill in the colour and then she'll think about highlights and background. So it's the same process as if you're drawing with your hand. I will say I don't like digital artists who do something digitally and then say that they drew it with a hand. I don't like that. I don't think that's right. I think you either draw with your hands or you're a digital artist, whichever, or you can do both. Uh, you know, they shouldn't be pitched against each other, they're two totally different things. But that's really skillful the way she's done that as well. This is Freya and her bird. She does a lot of manga stuff as well, a lot of anime that I really like. This one's called uh, Sugar Skull and I really like the texture of the skin. I really like the way it's blended. I, I love it. It actually looks like it, she's got a face paint on and I really like that. It's so well done. It's really cool. She does a lot of TV, movie tie-in stuff as well. And this is one that she did of Khal Drogo from Game of Thrones, uh, Khaleesi's late husband. Uh, I love the way the light's shining on him there. The way she's done the light is brilliant. It's like, he, you know, the sun's going down, it's sitting on his skin. I love that. And I'm a big fan of Lara Croft and Tomb Raider anyway. I watch the films play the game, so I love this one. Uh, I love the expression that she's got. She's like done her own take on Lara Croft and she's got a brilliant expression there. I love the hair, I love the highlights, I love the flesh tones. Really well done. This one's called Bunny, and I love the way she's uh, set the background out of focus, so it brings the bunny into focus. Uh, the, the fur is so well executed as well, the texture of the fur is brilliant on this one. And finally, this last one is Let's Paint a Rose, obviously digitally again, but uh, in paint form, and it, it's uh, really well done. So get over and support uh, this girl, because she supports our community so much. She comments on all my videos, she's been with me since the beginning, and I've seen her commenting on everyone's video. So please get over and subscribe and support her. Now, last but not least, uh, is an artist called David Denton Art. Uh, I've slowed Jess down here so I can talk a bit about David because he's from Doncaster in England, so he's a fellow Brit. And I'm going to show you a series of seven acrylic paintings that he did on illustration board. And these set of seven paintings are called uh, The Seven Gates, and they're based on David's uh, experiences with depression. Now, I think David's uh, suffered with depression over the years. I don't think you'll mind me saying this because you can go to his website, the link's in the description, and he tells you all about it in some detail. And he, ex he explains, in, in fact, I urge you to go and look at these paintings and read David's descriptions because they are brilliant. Now, a lot of people frown on depression and say, yeah, everybody gets down, get over it, but that is ridiculous. Um, there's many forms of depression, it comes in many forms, but clinical depression is not a laughing matter. Depression is not a laughing matter at all. It's a serious disease, uh, it's a mental illness, and it's, it's a, not a very nice thing to deal with. Uh, this first painting is called Descent from Morbius Wood, uh, and it explores the inescapable nature of depression. I will talk about uh, David's art more in the future, I'm going to do a rehash video and I'm going to hopefully talk to David. I'll speak about that a bit more in a minute. Uh, this next painting is called Welcome. and This is based on the themes of self-destruction and voluntary isolation. Now, I was diagnosed with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder a couple of years ago. Uh, I've had a lot of trauma in my past. And I'm sure at some stage in this time, even though I think I've never been depressed, I'm sure I've suffered from depression a little bit. I'm sure everybody does at some stage. Um, this third painting is called The Insidious Whisper and it explores the times when the internal monologue is at its most harmful. Uh, gosh, this painting is so dark and so meaningful, there's so much in that painting if you look at it, it's, uh, yeah. What I'd like to say on depression myself is that I'm a big Linkin Park fan, uh, I'm sure a lot of you know that their lead singer Chester Bennington uh, committed suicide coming up a year now and he was suffering from clinical depression. Uh, just going into the fourth painting, Stiff Upper Lip. This is the ongoing struggle to appear as if everything is fine in the midst of depression. Now, yeah, Chester Bennington's uh, description of depression was like, it's not feeling down, and I mean, every sensible person knows that. It's almost like being in an empty room and you want to take that depression and you want to live with that depression. You want to take it into the corner. You don't care about anyone. You don't care about anything. You don't want to do anything. Talk to anyone. It's fuck the world and you just want to curl up and die with that depression. That's Chester Bennington's take on it. As we go into this fifth drawing, which is the brilliant skin, the shine of the rain. And this is depression's desire to destroy relationships. Um, now, I think David's been all right. Uh, this year, 
but I think he tends to have maybe an episode once a year. So it's almost like having a demon on your shoulder and knowing that it can come back at any time and affect you at any time. Uh, I urge you, like I said, to go to his website because he talks about this in detail. Like can, you can learn about his depression and how it's affected his life. Um, this uh, sixth painting is I Walk Into Your Parlour and it delves into the contradictory desire to escape the pain of mental illness by moving deeper into that depression. Uh, and the final drawing in the series is called The Seventh Gate. And this focuses on the obsessive thoughts of death resulting from severe depression. So this is pretty deep, yeah. But it's a pretty deep subject that we're dealing with here. And um, I think anybody who belittles uh, depression or anybody who frowns upon it, uh, the problem lies more with them because it's a very serious thing. And I've put a message at the end of the video for anybody who thinks they might be depressed. So please look at that. And I'll talk about it a bit in a while as well, a little bit more. Uh, but now I want to look at David's new series of paintings that he's doing this year. It's called Guardians. And this one is a sense of belonging and it's all about belonging to a group and getting yourself involved. And this is sort of um, an antidote to the Seven Gate series. It's sort of a more upbeat look at depression. And uh, this is uh, David's take on how he tries to make himself feel better, how he can look, at, look on it in a positive sense, if you like. And now I want to put up uh, a bit of the process and going back to um, the Seven Gate series again. And this is Skin, the Shine of the Rain, uh, which I think is absolutely fantastic. It's basically a post-apocalyptic, uh, it's like a sort of a bridge that's uh, destroyed. And the painting's actually upside down when you look at it as a whole. Uh, and it's concrete rubble and all the bits of bridge that's broken and it's suspended in the air. And the detail in this is absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of greys and blacks to, you know, because it's describing the depression. Excuse me. And it's just every crack, every bit of rubble, every bit of brick, every, every perforation, every hole in every piece of metal, every girder, every what, everything is there. It's just so well done. And it's such fantastic work. And, you know, you've got to have the patience of a saint to be able to do this. And I really, really, really take my hat off to you, David, because it really is fantastic work. So, yeah, everybody, please go on over to his website and take a look. In the future, I'm uh, going to have a chat with David if I can, and to see if he wants to put his take across on one of the videos when I uh, do a follow-up video to his work. Uh, I might even uh, suggest a co collaboration with him so David can actually come onto my video and talk himself if he likes. I don't know what's going to happen with that in the future, whether David will want to, or it's just something that we can explore. And I'd like to talk about his paintings in the Seven Gate series in a little more detail and actually look at the paintings themselves. Um, because with this, I've been explaining about some things about the depression and uh, about going to his website and stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, if anybody's feeling like they're depressed or feeling so low that they think that, you know, they don't want to go on with life or anything like that please talk to somebody please get help there's a lot of places offering help out there you could even just google it talk to somebody ring the samaritans talk to your gp talk to a friend talk to your family even talk to a stranger if that makes you feel better but talk to somebody you are not alone you really aren't um so please try and get some help there's millions of people going through this you are not alone so thanks everybody for watching this video. Please support the three artists on this video and I'll see you on the next one.